What is up, lit people? I'm Armenti, and welcome back to another Lumion Legacy video. Guys, in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you the best way to grind for EXP, aka experience boost, and for money in a Lumion Legacy. So, with the new Route 8 update that they dropped yesterday, they also dropped a new trainer that you can rebattle and that gives you ton and ton of XP and of money. So in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you which trainer that is and how much experience boost he gives you. Uh, guys, have in mind that I have the experience boost game pass. So wait, actually, no, I don't know if there's an experience boost game pass. There probably is. But if I'm not mistaken, I do have ex extra experience boost since I did mastery. So my experience boost multiplier is actually higher than a regular one. However, despite that, this is still the trainer that gives you the most experience boost in the entire game. So it's actually this fellow over here. He's kind of sunburnt and he's near the new gate that's over there. So let's just talk to him and let's battle him. And I'm going to show you guys how much experience boost he will give you. Okay, so it's trainer Teddy. And Teddy will first send out a swim. And here we're going to be sending out our Gleam Pharaoh. So let's do fight and I'm going to do spectral burst. Let's see if we can kill the swim with a spectral burst. So I'm going to use it. I'm loving this move animation. And okay, one shot kill. Swim fainted, and I got a total of 486 experience boost. So that's pretty, pretty cool. And now they're going to send Snapper, and they have a total of four different Lumions, so it's actually very easy to grind uh, this, this trainer, and it's much more better, you know? Like, you don't need to rebattle the other trainers. Uh, rest in peace, Hayden. I'll definitely say that. Also, rest in peace, Jenna. No one ever goes back to Jenna or Hayden now that we have Teddy over here. But yeah, let's use Spectral Burst again, and Snapper has fainted. So that's good, and we got a 1147 experience boost. Okay, guys, that's a lot. That's a lot. Okay, now they're going to send Snapper again. And I'm believing we're going to get a 1147 experience boost again. Uh, we gotta kill it to find out, though. So they're going to use Quick Pounds, a little bit of damage to me, and now I'm going to be using Spectral Burst. And almost killed it. Let's use Spectral Burst again, and that should kill the Snapper, and we should be getting a 1147 experience boost. Okay, Snapper has fainted. And now, yep, we got a 1147 experience boost, and now we have uh, one more Lumion that we need to battle, which is Swim. Let's see how much experience boost Swim gives us. Okay, oh, we got a rest. Well, we gotta take a little bit of rest before we attack that swim. Okay, we have regained energy and swim using quick pounce. Now let's use Spectro Burst again, and let's see if this one one shot kill the swim. Okay, they're using quick pounce again. And Spectro Burst, three, two, one. And we one shot killed it, and let's see how much experience boost we will get from this. So, 486. So overall, we got around, let's see, 3,000, 3,500 experience boost off of one, uh, one battle with Teddy. And if you guys want to even increase your experience boost chances, you know you can always buy the experience gained uh, boost. So if you have this boost, you will be able to have times to the experience gained with Teddy. But yeah, I do really believe that's going to be everything for today's video. If you guys enjoyed watching, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm Raminti and we lit.